the fight that's common to all of us against the enemy who is common to all of us. And we must know what politics is supposed to produce. We must know what part politics play in our lives. And until we become politically mature, we will always be misled, led astray, or deceived or maneuvered into supporting someone politically who doesn't have the good of our community at heart. So our people are disillusioned. They become disenchanted. They become dissatisfied. And in their frustrations, they want action. When this country here was first being founded, there were 13 colonies. The whites were colonized. They were fed up with this taxation without representation. So some of them stood up and said, liberty or death. Liberty or death was what brought about the freedom of whites in this country from the English. They didn't care about the art, but they faced the wrath of the entire British Empire. And in those days, they used to say that the British Empire was so vast and so powerful, the sun would never set on it. This is how big it was. Yet these 13 little scrawny states, tired of taxation without representation, tired of being exploited and oppressed and degraded, told that big British Empire, liberty or death. This is a new generation. If they're going to draft these young men and send them over to Korea or South Vietnam, to face 800 million Chinese. If you're not afraid of those odds, you shouldn't be afraid of these odds. They're going to come in with false promises. And as they make these false promises, they're going to feed our frustration. And this will only serve to make matters worse. And when I speak, I don't speak as a Democrat or a Republican. I speak as a victim of America's so-called democracy. You and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. When we open our eyes today and look around America, we see America not through the eyes of someone who has, who has enjoyed the fruit of Americanism. We see America through the eyes of someone who has been the victim of Americanism. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. We haven't benefited from America's democracy. We've only suffered from America's hypocrisy. And the generation that's coming up now can see it. And I'm not afraid to say it. If you go to jail, for oh what? You were born in jail. Victims of Americanism are waking up and they're gaining a new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these political elections. Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you're dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you're not only a chump, but you're a traitor, 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 traitor. today at RMV Brockton. Let's see how public officials act in the course of their duties at r and Brockton. Cameras on deck. Are you stating rules and policy or are you stating law? Because right now you're about to violate my rights. I'm putting you on notice, Mr. Cornelius. Okay. You're about to re violate my rights right now. How violate your rights then? Uh, you we're not in a court of law to to explain that to you, but I'll give you a hint. We're on public property, you're a public servant, and I'm a citizen. And I'm here in a public parking lot, and you're, and you're telling, and are you, are you, you sir, 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 how am I, I'm not, I'm not an employee for the RMV, sir. So I am I'm allowed to walk. I can. I'm allowed to walk. Hold on. I'm gonna get out because we're gonna have to talk about this one. Yeah. Cause now, now you're giving me a hard time. You're not giving me a hard time. You're not giving All me a hard time, you, sir. What I'm telling you is that you're not allowed here to sir, practice and show sir, people. I don't work for the RMV. Sir. I'm telling you that you work for the RMV. So I don't have to abide by your policies and your rules. This is a public street. This is a public. Parking That's lot. This is the way we're gonna do. Okay. This is the way we're gonna do it. Help! 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 Call! Call the police! I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink around here, do you, bud? Please. 
Alright, we got an issue with it with a customer here. The issue is that Mr. Cornelius is telling right. me that I can't be on public property, that I can't be on public park property on a public parking lot at an R and V and he's a public servant. Now, Mr. Cornelius has called someone over. I'm not sure if that's a supervisor or if it's a state trooper. But he has no authority to tell me that I cannot be on a public, on public property. Karina, you remember this guy from last time, right? This guy, right? You remember this guy? Yeah, I've been here. I've taken the test two times here. Two times here, sir. You, and no nobody, one, and, that, and I have not done nothing and illegal. And you, now you're trying to tell me that I can't be on public property you don't know what i'm doing here sir, sir and you don't have no road, you sir. have no authority listen you have no paperwork on me you have no authority to tell me that i shouldn't be here or that i can't you be that here you and be you don't here. even know what i'm doing sir i did not tell you that you should not be here you're here you're here you, sir, mr what cornelius you, mr cornelius what i told you, you what you should you do is not approach people. me oh, I'm saying you've been misled you've been hacked you've been tough they're playing a giant con game you know how it goes. One of them comes to you and makes me his foot. And he's in cahoots with the other one that's not good. Why? Because neither one of them is good. But they got to make you a goal with one of them or the other. So this is a con game. It's my first encounter with Cornelius Rivers, road test examiner. I had never seen this man before he stopped me in the middle of the road, like a cop. I found it real suspect when he said Karina. Do you remember this guy? Cornelius Rivers uses his cell phone to call a cop called Tony Randolph, Antonio Randolph, Brockton PD. Cornelius Rivers argues that I can't show anyone anything pertaining to the driving course for the driver's exam. At that point, Cornelius had no paperwork presented to him for a driver's test at the RV. We had just arrived for an appointment at the RMV for the driver's test. Since Cornelius Rivers had no documentation, he could have not known who I was or what I was there for unless previous information had been shared with him. On previous occasions, we had dealt at the RMV with other different uh, road examiner. Information was shared with him. I had no previous issues at that RMV on two separate occasions. On two separate occasions, my signature was accepted with all the rights reserved. Officer Randolph came and left the scene. Then they retaliated using my signature as an excuse to delay uh, giving service. America is in a unique position. She's the only country in history in a position actually to become involved in a bloodless and brutal revolution against And all of the other crimes that they're guilty of today. 